In this video, we'll demonstrate some of the tools for working with DEM, or Digital Elevation Model Data, in PC Swim. To begin with, let's open our DEM layer. I will turn off the subcatchments layer so we can see more detail on the DEM. The DEM is thematically rendered with added shadows to create more relief to be able to view the relative elevations. Let's zoom into a part of the DEM. This is part of the flood analysis components in PC Swim in which we are generating our flood inundation polygon. For this example, we will use the measure tool to draw a measure line. A measure line is simply a way of measuring a distance, but since we have a DEM loaded, PC Swim will automatically give you transect information from sampling the DEM as it draws the measure line. We can move this measure line and keep sampling if we want to. If we wanted to create a new one, you can see how quickly we can pull the data off of the DEM. If we wanted to use this data to create transects, we could manually do this by simply selecting a transect and right-clicking to copy the data. From there we could paste the data into Excel or we could open the transects editor and create a new transect. However, what is probably more useful is using a layer of defined cut lines. I've got a layer I can turn on. This layer was automatically created in PC Swim using the transect creator. This tool creates these cut lines for you and can sample them to create links and nodes for an actual drainage system. It can also come up with average transect cross sections if you have multiple cut lines along the length of a link. We can also pull elevation data for point layers using the set DEM tool. This tool allows the user to specify the DEM source layer, the points layer, and the elevation attribute that will be replaced with the DEM elevations. For more information, please visit chiwater.com. That's chiwater.com.